Call this meeting to order. Let's all stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Yes. Uh, I, I, yeah, Heavenly Father, Jesus Christ, please bless this day and let us have a good board meeting. And uh, let's just give a special prayer for uh, the fire at Pier 19. I let the damage be minimal and hope for a speedy recovery. And say these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Do I have to read the notice? No. Oh. <laughs> uh, are there any public comments? Anybody would like to say anything? Hearing none, we'll move on to I should four. declare orally probably orally declare a quorum though. I orally declare a quorum of <laughs> stay who's here. Mr. Donahue, Mr. Starkey, and myself. Okay. Dr. Lalonde, thank you. How was your vacate? Great. Yeah? yeah. Two weeks was the way just to do right. it from now on. <laughs> Every once in a while. There yeah, you go. That was just right. All right. Item four. Consider and discuss for possible approval of the minutes for the regular meeting from February 9th. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Item five, concern discussed for possible approval of the minutes of the special meeting from February 16th. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion approved. Item six, consider and discuss for possible approval. Board and staff travel to New York <laughs> to price the obligations for unlimited tax bond series 22. And unlimited tax refunding bonds. Who's going? Yeah, who are we sent? Uh, yeah, well, we have Carlos Galvan, Eddie Salazar, and Scott Friedman. And Scott gets to go. Yes. Ah, that's what the... about a vice chair? Well, <laughs> we can only have three, so that, that was the recommendation. <laughs> well, 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 well. Two to three. Who says you can only have three? Oh, uh, I, I think that, that's. Joey and the host son, who was the one that made the invitation. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, I wouldn't be able to go anyway, so I'll just get over my jealousy and assume the rest of us will go out to dinner while they're in New York. Yeah. Okay. Motion to approve. Second. Motion. Now, all in favor? Aye. Motion approved. Item seven, district engineer's report. Right. The first item here is just uh, giving an update for the Texas Water Development Board, the lift station rehab project. And uh, I have it on the attachment. The, the last update we've done is uh, back on March 30th, 2021, where we've uh, maxed out our loans with the construction and committed a you know significant amount, about a million dollars in local funds to get this last lift station contract done. And so uh, they did release the escrow for the last, for the $2.5 million for this Morville contract that we've recently executed. So the remaining amount in escrow is about $350,000. $419. But there's a couple of different line items in uh, special services and, and in engineering where money is still in escrow. So I was proposing to move those into construction engineering, and uh, which is tied to, you know, this, uh, this amendment uh, for the additional time do these contracts get longer than they were initially planned. And basically, uh, you know, revising the budget uh, at the same time as we take action on these uh, action items for the engineering services. How far behind are we? Oh, I mean, I think the project's going about a year longer than the original estimate. But that, that's basically the, the update I have for the budget revision. I think there's a, maybe an additional thousand of local funds to, to cover the action items uh, for, uh, for, this, for tonight. If we're a year over for a lift station, then uh, someone to get the house built only going a month over, probably not too bad then, right? I would say so. Yeah. I noticed on this though, uh, where they uh, asked them to come out for an inspection and they weren't ready. Who the hell is running the job? That costs us money, right? Well, yeah. I mean, it's going to be time you get spent. You know, but I mean, to they said here a couple of times that they called them out for the inspection and weren't ready, and so we got to pay for it. Yeah, it's some kind of frustrating condition. Or I would see that. It's in it's in the next deal. I was reading the next deal, and, it, and I'm going. We're paying for someone's not doing their job. Why would you call a guy if you're not ready? Good point. 
but the contractor needs to stay on it, I suppose. That's, and which contractor is this? Oh, Southern Trench Lift Solutions. It's, they're, they're the contract that's causing this additional time, which is the you know the lift station 37 in Ocelot and lift station one there on, on uh, Mesquite. Those are, we're still trying to do the startups once we can get an idea out there. Let's consider that. Well, then we, we ought to consider that then again, because I, that's kind of inefficient to call someone out for an inspection and not be ready, and then we have to pay for it. The water district gets paid for. I mean, we, you know, I mean, there is a discussion about contract time that we can bring up because it has been taking a long time. Are the idea is contractor to try to assess the great damages. I mean, that would be our recourse is to implement liquidated damages. I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely be considered in the next time uh, bids come up. What's your guys' suggestion? What do you want to do? Oh, I mean, I'm just recommending. I mean, this a lot of these these delays are due to pandemic and these uh, materials delays that have been, uh, you know, unforeseen. I mean, that's really I think the majority of this additional time spent. I mean, I guess to a certain degree, I, I can understand that part. Right. But you know, like I said, you should know if you're ready or not. No, I agree with that. I mean, you either know you got this, the supplies or you don't. Yeah, and that, that warrants a review. So, I mean, we can, because, uh, you know, we, we still got to make a final determination for the contract time and, and settle that out. Some I mean, of that can be a point that we can consider to see what actually we'll take in. Okay. Motion to approve the amendment. Oh, well, we're still in the engineer's report. Yes, yeah, so, but, but that's, it's yeah. The same emotional. Oh, it's just a report. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I, was, I guess. I was the, just getting ahead of myself. Yeah, right definitely. We're definitely jumping ahead. Yeah. But I mean, the, the budget is really just meant to uh, make sure that everything in escrow is going to get used. Uh, and uh, and we can, we can uh, really, that's really what the budget adjustment's for. And uh, with the Southern Trenches job, um, where the escrow is still holding 62000 in retainage. So when they get the startup done, we can do the final here within a month. That's the time to really determine if we're going to assess liquidated damages, and, and then um, and then also get the, the retainage released for the final acceptance of the contract. Oh, howdy! Let the record show that Mr. Dave Bowder is present. Is that it? Uh, yeah, just a second item on the uh, the um, engineer support is just the. The Long Island Village is mainly the, the, the one that would have a, a reason to submit their project information forms. There, there is a deadline on March 4th for the state fiscal year 2023 for the clean water and drinking water state revolving funds. I mean, this is their opportunity to get that lower interest, that subsidize, even uh, with this infrastructure investment and jobs act, there may be some opportunity for loan forgiveness or even grants. So uh, we'll got we'll to see how much that can play out to reduce that burden for you know, the, the projects proposed through their May election uh, tax plan. That, that's the other item to discuss. That, that concludes the engineer's report. Great, thank you so much. Item number eight. It's in the discuss for possible approval of task authorization amendment number four, which frees and nickels for legislation rehabilitation. Yes, and, and this is the one, it sounds like we've already addressed the uh, discussion at the engineer's report, requesting an increase in construction engineering for 18,810. And that's entirely due to that Southern Trench List uh, contract running as long as it did. And then um, a deduct on the land and easement acquisition of $1,216 to request an increase of the $17,594. Any questions? Motion to approve. Motion to approve by Mr. Stark. Second. By Mr. Bowder, all in favor. Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Item nine: Concern discuss for possible approval of professional services agreement for facilities master plan. Right. And this was an item that we had included in the budget, and it was to really look at our facilities for warehouses, operation and maintenance, repairs, uh, those aspects that we need to consider. And so we're recommending a approval to proceed with the study for an amount of sixty-seven thousand eight hundred seventy-one dollars. Move that we approve. Second. Motion made by Mr. Bowder, seconded by Mr. Sark. Y'all in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 10. Consider discuss for possible approval budget amendment for the emergency purchase of a new pump for the river pump station. Uh, 
reaction with this. Uh, is this is related to um, another item on the series pop up agenda. Uh, item number 13. Um, but did this uh, explain the, the reason for the the um, the, the, is this the location out there where you guys drove Adam and I about three years ago, right at the river? Yeah, that's correct. There's yeah. three of them out there, right? There's two of them out there, and they've all been repaired. This recent one lost the, uh, the bottom bowl, kind of taken out of pieces, and uh, had some bad news to take the remainder out. And uh, it was pretty much uh, either that, and they just repaired them a couple of times. And uh, if some of those repaired them, yeah. Have we not replaced one since since I've been sitting here? Is this the first replacement we've had? We've never replaced them as far as I can. A lot of small, yeah. lot of small ones. <laughs> yeah, there was a discussion about that when Bill and I toured. Yeah. About the need to replace them soon. So. And that's something you got to do to make the zone a little bit more replaceable. You got to have it done. In the last few years, we've sent them for repairs. We've sent. Uh, Two not for repair, which are the ones that are currently out there, and then this one uh, has already been repaired twice. Yeah. So the age of the other two, same age, they're all the same age, right? They're so they're all put at the same time. We're replacing one now, right? I don't see a problem with this moving forward, but before we close this item, I think we should consider our capital expenditures and years moving forward. You know, consider replacing another one maybe next year, but the third one the year after that. Would that be something in line with what you would like? It's already something that's in discussion with the general manager and uh, Chris Nichols as far as getting specs and stuff like that. And what else out there needs to be updated? I know we updated the communication, correct? Uh, yes, the communication and some of the electrical that will be coming up. Uh, we're, we're trying to knock that out in house. Our electrician is uh, moving forward with, with that. Yeah, because that was a pretty beat up structure too when we yeah, were there. That's correct. Yeah. The whole, the whole structure. yeah. So part of part of the of the additional damage that's going on is it because of the of the low uh, levels on the on the river it's sucking up more sand than it normally does. And, well, and, and that's uh, causing yeah, well, uh, damage to the inside of the In addition to that, I mean um, you know, the fact that it's not stable, right? That whole area needs to be flooded, certain requirement for the pumps, and we need to make sure that, that uh, those impellers are constantly underwater. And with the fluctuating uh, river, right? Well, once you turn it on, <clears throat> we've got about four feet of the riverbed of water. And because of the drought, you know, we're still at about 36%. Uh, yeah, it causes them to cavitate, do some crazy things. Yeah, yeah. I understand. Legally, are we permitted to? Dam the river at any capacity, just beyond that, to no. ensure that we have an appropriate debt. <laughs> I don't know. That's what I was going to say. Is that probably the look at your intake structure for the next uh, eight times. Yeah. 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 Yeah, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's more than it's more than the sediment. So if they don't have enough head pressure on the as they're drawing the water mm -hmm. up, the, they cavitate, and that part of what happens they yeah, shake it's a little bit of everything. Yeah. The the okay. Yeah. Well, well, even for example, like a low level lockout, like a transducer. You know, there's a lot of electrical that needs controls protection that needs to be uh, maintained or restored. You know, I, I those kind of aspects. How long did those pumps last? The ones you have now? Well, uh, they're still going, but how old are they? Yeah, they're from 1989. How does it? How does it um, withdraw water? Is, is it withdrawing vertically, or is there a horizontal? Yeah, it's a vertical. You've got uh, you've got the movement coming in, and then there's a drop as well, and it's uh, you're talking about 38 foot vertical uh, But when it's in the river, is it in the river this way, or does it do this? No, no, it's literally standing. It's literally standing in the river. The river that was here, and and you got the two uh, central mm -hmm. heads. Mm -hmm. So uh, you know, this was an unbudgeted uh, 
item. So, so we're, we're asking for additional 164. Yes, yeah, we're asking for additional 164 to be added to the budget uh, from our fund balance uh, to finance the purchase of a, of a new river. Yeah, and I'm all in. Charles, I would just again use this action item as an opportunity to encourage possible you to think of some outside the box and um, that could help prolong the life of this investment and maybe cure any issues that we're having with the water fluctuations. Is there anything that's going on out there that we could implement in our system to help, you know, protect the life of these? I mean, 35 years is great. Right. One of the things that the, to answer some of that and uh, to touch on what Mr. Potter said is that we're purchasing a DFP for it as well. So we can throttle that, uh, <clears throat> that pump, the, the cheap gas, to maintain the water depth. So that way we're not drying up. I understand. So, okay. great. Just fire on. Yeah. Yeah, I move that we approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thanks, guys. Motion carries. Item 11 consent discuss possible approval of the financial reports for October 2021. So, we have the the, uh, the first uh, financial report uh, for fiscal year. Uh, next uh, item, agenda item. Well, uh, I'm also going to start uh, presenting the capital projects fund uh, on a basis as well, since it's, it's in the past it, it was never presented before, but I want to uh, start presenting that on a monthly basis as well, uh, since it's a, it's a budgeted fund. Appropriate to go ahead and, and uh, show it as well. So that, that's something new that you'll be seeing in the financial reports. Right now. All these ventures 360.9%. Explain that item to me or page one. So uh, last year at, at this time we were still uh, not charging uh, people for the being late due to the, to the pandemic. And so that's why penalties and interest were uh, in October. And since then, in, in current year, that's why it looks like it's going up a lot. It's gone up a lot. Okay, that makes sense. It's our interest in become part of our budget revenue. It is, yes. In the, uh, I'll report it on the, on the next meeting, but uh, we, we just uh, got the, um, the new investment for a CD. And we just got the results back today, and uh, interest rates are, are rising. And so we have relatively to what we've been seeing uh, uh, the one percent to one percent is, is much higher than we have been getting. Motion approved. Second. It's an approval or an acceptance. Yeah, it's approval. Uh, Motion made by Mr. Starkey, second by Mr. Donahue. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 12. This is the uh, report for November. Um, as expected. Motion approved. Second. Motion to approve by Mr. Starkey, second by Mr. Donnie. All in favor? Aye. Any motion carries? Item 13. Motion approved. Concerned discuss possible ratification of payment for the purchase of 200 horsepower raw water pump to the river pump station. There's a motion to approve by Mr. Donnie. Second. Except, uh, yeah. Were there Thank all those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those in favor, aye. 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 Good. Motion carries. Item 14, consider and review expenditures from February 1st through the 15th. Acknowledge. 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 
I acknowledge. And with that, we adjourn item 15.